When the family comes together, it is a special occasion. It usually starts with some business and then it leads to a celebration because the Don likes to look after his people. But before we can get to any of that, let's meet the family. We start things off with Justin, always eager to help with any projects, and he is an exceptional expert at building redstone contraptions. A gentle soul, but some fear the day he loses it. Then we have Puffing Fish, the ruler of Atlantis, and also an exceptional redstone expert. The best person if you need to find some exploits, if you know what I mean. His shenanigans can get on the Don's nerves from time to time, but the Don tolerates him. The Don prides himself on having both of the Redstone Masters in the family. But we do need to mention the other Redstone expert, Kyle Blaine. He is a bit of a quirky character, but the Don likes his music, and no one questions the Don. Tony tried it a couple of months ago, and no one has seen him since. Next we have Tinkfro, a man of speed and a brain to crack any game. Somehow he just keeps making more and more diamonds. The Don never questions his methods, as long as he delivers the goods and stays out of trouble. And last but not least we have Square Mario. Time and time again the Don made some mistakes involving Mario in their younger years, so the Don made him part of the family to make up for those mistakes. That brings us to today, the day every single member of the Phantom Mafia got together. It was time for the Don to reveal his master plan to take control of the afterlife. So yeah, that's me in the mob. Anyways, I've been enlisted to create a bit of a uh, vault for the goods for the mobsters, or for us mobsters. And, um, you know, I think it's time that we go ahead and get to work on that. So... I'll bring you guys back when I have this room decorated, and then uh, we're going to start work on the security systems in the door. So, the fun stuff comes later. Well guys, I uh, had a stream, and I built this door on stream, and Tinkfro and Ash actually helped with decorating the room. Yeah, you guys can probably tell this isn't, uh, <laughs> I'm not this good, and yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if we activate the door, we get it nice and open here into... Basically, um, what, you know, opened. And then we have the vault close, like so. Now, of course, we can't just, you know, go over here and flick a lever to get into the vault. And obviously, there's no vault behind here yet. But that comes later. Anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be making the vault uh, essentially have a few different items in this room where we have to go to things so i pl I placed a lectern here so this is going to have some redstone behind it where there's going to be a comparator behind this bricks a book here or we're going to go to a specific page uh with say some sort of text on it you know it's just going to be a book maybe detailing you know mobs and everything like that uh you know maybe the history of the mob or whatever <laughs> uh could be cool like the family book but if we go to a specific page there's going, it's going to, you know, get to a certain signal strength. And if that's the case, it's going to go to an AND gate. Uh, and if you guys don't know what an AND gate is, basically means when you have two correct inputs, it's going to say, okay, that that's true. And then it will open. But if it's only one or the other, then too bad. So we open that. The other thing we're going to have is we're going to have an item frame up here, which is going to, again, have something where we're going to have to orient it to the correct uh, angle. I don't know which angle I'm going to do yet. I'm not going to reveal that to you, <laughs> but, uh, well, I actually probably will, but anyways, the page I won't reveal and the angle I will, because it's going to be hard to test with you guys. Anyways, bam, it's going to be an angle. So that's two things that are going to activate and go into another and gate. So that's half done. And then the second half is going to be a lever one is going to be both of these levers. So, um, actually that's gonna trigger those, isn't it? So we might put the lever, let's see. We might, what we might do is put the lever. Goodness, I'm actually out of certain blocks, but we might put the lever like here and here. Boom and I need to get another nether brick. 
Uh, do we have any in here? Yeah. And... So yeah, basically it's just going to be a bunch of AND gates going into uh, this right here. And the redstone we're going to have to work on is probably going to be mostly on this side. But again, we're going to have to do the item frame over here. Um, we're probably going to put it right here. I think that's going to be enough to keep the place secure. Um, and obviously the thing is two people have to um, activate these levers at the same time. The other possibility is having a pressure plate and have two people stand here and that turns it on, right? That is kind of what, I, what I've been thinking. Um, but there's a lot of redstone we have to go to. I'm thinking, you know, I could also put the lever or the pressure plates here. But I think in this corner here is good. And we have two pressure plates with two players have to open the uh, thing here. Otherwise, you know kind of kind of you know not secure because you know mobsters usually need two people to get to the uh the goods so that's gonna be some fun redstone i think i'm gonna start with this one right here so let's go ahead and break open this here and uh i'm gonna get to work i think i'm gonna I actually don't know where my stuff is i i had some boxes here that i'd left Okay, but uh, guys, guys, <laughs> this vault, we, we really don't have anything there yet. <laughs> so I think it's time that we go ahead and uh, I'm going to dig this out and build the vault. And then we'll get to the fun stuff. So yeah, I got all of my materials here, all sorts of stuff for the redstone and the vault. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so I actually decided to finish the vault room before I did the redstone to activate the door here. Uh, so, uh, let's go ahead and open it up. And here we have the vault. Oh yes. Uh, so this actually, I took inspiration from what a real vault looks like. Um, obviously you wouldn't walk around on the tables. But generally, there's a bunch of little drawers, which is what these slabs are supposed to be around the edge. And then um, there's tables where you usually have the big packets of money. So what we're going to do is probably have diamonds piles, big square diamond piles, blocks, diamond blocks on this table, hopefully going up, you know, and then the, the bulk is going to be here in shulker boxes are just going to line these here. So I think it's a pretty cool design. Um, it didn't take me too long to do. And the vault door was designed by uh, this guy on screen. <laughs> and yeah, so obviously nothing is set in stone yet. But the vault uh, is complete. Um, and I decided that I'm going to do pressure plates here. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and get organized because I'm all just from building this whole thing. I have a bunch of shulker boxes. Need to get organized and I will see you guys back when we start on the redstone for the lectern, the item frame where we put it there, and then the two pressure plates. So yeah. Okay guys, so it's time for me to explain my redstone. Okay, so I set up uh let's here, let me just let, let's let's show this one actually. Uh so I set up two red coders. Uh, they're both the same. This one's just shorter. Um it's essentially, you know, you have these target blocks, you have these things, um, and it works off of the concept that you get a comparator output twice. You're getting the same comparator output, but this one's one block earlier. So if you come over here and you'll see that this one is off, but this one is on because this one is one block further um, because this obviously has its block one forward. Um, and then what happens is, so this line here will turn off these torches. Um, but as you can see, this other line here will turn off these torches, allowing these top torches to turn on. Um, but these ones make sure these are off as well. So that's how that works. It's just like a pretty simple locking thing. And then if we turn the item frame, you know, you'll see that it changes. So now we're at level two. Uh, three, four, five, I think, I think six is where it's supposed to be. Yeah, right here. 
um, and that will trigger the correct code for this one also has a red coder behind it, but I'm not revealing that one for security reasons. Anyways, to test this out, I'm going to put an item in place of what a player, where a player will be. And there we go. We get the door open and we can go into the vault, which is looking really awesome. It's got this nice kind of diorite floor, but it's supposed to be like white marble um, because, you know, gangsters are rich and whatnot. <laughs> so yeah, essentially we're going to put all the diamonds in here, probably put, you know, bundles of them on these tables. And then we'll probably have big cubes of them. And then we might even have containers back here of them. Lots of diamonds are going to end up here. Um, and yeah, so then when, when you want, want to leave, you can shut the thing and it's just using, uh, down here. If we here, I think right here is a pretty good spot. So yeah, we have a T flip flop turning the door on and off. No, 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 no. What? No. Oh, no. We are, we should be getting both outputs here. So this is on, that's good. So that's one half of this AND gate. So this one just needs to be triggered and yeah, that's great. So, um, let me just do that and that an item here, stand here. Perfect. Okay. The creeper blast was fixed. Um, let me shut it. And then of course, this is going to be a stone pressure plate meaning that two players have to know the code and open it. Uh, so that's how you make a, a vault door in Minecraft, guys. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I think I should go spam some torches down here. Um, so, yeah, I wonder where they spawn. I think probably back here, maybe. One there, put a torch there. Oh, over here, definitely. Torches there, torch there, torch there. Torches, torches. Torches galore. Okay. Anyways, guys, that's going to be enough for showing the redstone. Um, we'll meet up with the dawn soon. But for now, I got to go get my attire sorted for this mobster stuff. I'm going to go buy some new clothes. Uh, so, yeah. Alright guys, so I need to present myself to the Don, and so I figured I'd come to the clothing shop here, run by Artorvian, and uh, I'll just have a look around and see if I can find something that the Don will find presentable. Uh, yes. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh! Oh, um... Oh, hi. Uh, I was about to close the shop. It's it's a bit dark. <laughs> but <laughs> I guess I guess you were in here just in time. Um... Are you looking for some clothes? Do you have an idea of what you want? I do, and I have a pretty good idea. You see, I'm presenting myself to, well, someone a little bit, um, questionable or, or you know, dangerous. Um, okay. Okay. And I need to look presentable so I don't get, um, uh, let's just say killed. That's a very blunt way to put it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I'm assuming I need to do a very good job so I don't get on the wrong side of them. Yeah, you see, I, if I have a good suit from you, I'm going to recommend that this shop sells the best suits. Um, you see, it's the, it's the Mafia. Yeah. Uh, I think it also sells the only suits. But... I can, I can do that for you. I'm assuming you want like a suit and tie or something, or something a bit gangstery. Yeah, gangstery is kind of the the look I'm going for. Okay, well I happen to have a costume right that uh, right like that for for you here. Uh, I'll let you I'll let you get changed in there. Um. Okay. Beautiful. Dog 
kind of got taken down by a zombie that was getting changed in here, so I'll just close that up for you. And don't worry, the, the windows are tinted, you can't, people can't see in from the outside. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, sounds good. Uh, can you can you open the door, please? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, sure. Um, I probably sort of should should have an axe ready in the store. Uh, I guess I guess I'll just break it down with my fists. Oh, never mind. Don't worry, I I, I have an axe. Okay, how do I look? Uh, d do do a twelve for me. <laughs> Ooh, I like the braces. They look brilliant for you and. Uh, the Beautiful. pinstripe oh, trousers, yes. they, they're they looking wonderful. Uh, what do you think of it? You know, I think if, if the Don doesn't like this, I don't know what he'll like. So uh, thank you very much for the uh, suit. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad I can be of assistance. And uh, I hope you don't mind to, if you could just sort of slip in a few kind words to, to him. Just so uh, I, I don't end up on the wrong side of him. You know, the Mafia pays its price to get people on their payroll, so there you go. T ten diamond- ten di- what? Oh, okay. Um, that, that was meant to cost five diamonds, but- <laughs> Well, if you- if you argue, if we ever need anything from you, it better be free next time. Um... Well, to be honest, that, uh, uh, I, I, I can't say no to that. <laughs> You've pretty much paid for, for for a number of skins with that. <laughs> You've been bribed, just so you know. Yes, have a, have a good day, sir. Alrighty, guys. So now that we have our suit from Artorvian, it's time that we move on for today's episode. Um, I would like to actually talk about a new game that I'm planning on, and that is capture the flag um, but in minecraft it's going to be called capture the pig and essentially we're going to need some donations from members because this is going to be a big server project that i'm myself and justin are leading um hopefully it's going to be a big project that we kind of get to play towards the end of the season um as kind of like a finale almost is my hopes for it but i would like to build a sign here that's people can you know if they're around this end of the shopping district they can see it and they can zoom on over you know read it maybe make a donation or be like okay i'll help out and they'll go collect some resources for us or um they can also decide if they want to have signs put around the island and they can pay uh starting at one diamond block for a small sign all the way up to 10 diamond blocks for a large sign and this is a medium sign like that's a medium small sign would be kind of like uh half of this like ch -ch -ch -ch, this kind of size there and a giant sign is going to be like doing two of these right next to each other and so people can uh, make the design it's got to be it's got to be one wide and we can go ahead and build up these signs in the air around the island and so when we play it, their business is going to be advertised um so at the the finale of the season you know people can continue their businesses into a new season possibly um, there's quite a lot of possibilities with the sign thing people can also sign up to you know to add something so if they want to add a little um you know bit to the island if they want to help uh, terraform it because there's going to be quite a bit of terraforming if they want to help build it or just grind some things out they can sign up for that um and yeah i think it'll be really cool Okay guys, so 99% of the sign is done. What do you guys think of this design? Uh, thank you, Plant Skunk, for putting one third of the design. Uh, so basically, he showed, he kind of did the legs here. I did everything else, I'm pretty sure. He helped. Actually, you know what? Yeah, everyone helped me uh, design this sign in the creative server. These guys are phenomenal builders like look at this place dude holy cow um but yeah i i i think i did a pretty good job with this sign obviously with the help that from the guy who built this but still i think i did a pretty darn good job even though i had help but uh yeah so um the episode's gonna be over today or 
yeah, here. Essentially, I was going to do a whole time lapse of me building this, but replay mod failed me. Um, so yeah, next, next episode, I'll use replay mod successfully. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the next episode. For today's episode, guys, we're gonna have to call it a day. Um, next episode, we are going to be talking to the Don properly. Uh, I know I said I was going to do that today, but it just didn't work out scheduling wise. And this episode has been waiting a long time because it's the introduction to the mob. So yeah, but um, capture the pig is going to start taking over more and more videos. So hopefully you guys are into that because it is mega plans, uh, you know, for pretty much the rest of the season with side quests here and there. But this, this is going to be our big project to end off the season. Um, <laughs> I know that may sound like kind of crazy, but um, yeah, this is a this is a giant project. I don't want to uh, like grind it all out at once, but it's going to be probably a little bit of this project every episode starting today. And I've already told you guys way too much. Um, I think next episode I'll try and meet up with Justin, and we're going to maybe show you guys the island that we're going to do this at and. Uh, we might even come up with a few designs of things and block palettes and creative together. Um, but yeah, guys, that is enough for today. I'm not changing skins until next season, probably, or until the, the mob stuff is off. So hopefully you guys like this skin. I love this skin. It's beautiful. Uh, thanks, Art. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Bye-bye. Also, it's test season for me. So if I'm not active on Discord or something, it's, yeah, that's why.